Uh, there you go. Uh, uh, Victor is asking, so um, initially he found a bit of contradiction that initially you uh, described Megan as uh, the first type of personality, so being creative, mm -hmm. brainstorming, uh, but you also are saying that she resembles the diagonal type, which is a harmonizing, so which one is it? Hmm. Well, you know, my, um, my approach is for each person they have this brain wiring map and one way we could characterize that is to try and force it into one of four boxes the other way is to ask uh how could we use um what we have to sort of reconstitute uh the person's brain map to give an accurate view of them so i would say you know she doesn't have dominant brainstorm because then that would be all in black but it's a little bit softer so it's a strength but it's a soft strength so i can't say that's number one it is however uncommon among enfjs so the fact that it's a soft strength it definitely puts her more in the creative category she also has uh, one diagonal uh, so not multiple diagonals just one but it's quite strong so that also indicates uh, a strength, but a soft or, or secondary strength. So I would put her between those two. Um, in terms of the, the frequency of how often they appear, maybe I have to err on the side of creative because most, I, I don't see very many creative ENFJs, at least not in my lab, um, with secondary uh, diagonal. And if I said she's, you know, one and then the other, and I put those together, then that actually gives like a, a reasonable facsimile, an approximation of her result. Uh, just like I could take uh, diagonals and front bias and merge them together, and that would create, uh, you know, an approximation of somebody else's result. Uh, so nobody has exactly, well, no, some people are very close to, to uh, you know, very, very strongly one of them. But in this case with Megan, I would have to say, you know, we want to pay attention to both. And it may be that she's in transition or something. Uh, I do believe, is my last thought, that the these flavors actually uh, are underlying, uh, you know, they transcend the brain wiring. So the, the brain wiring is like a way to realize the flame. Mm. So question just really quick is, would you say that the diagonal one is more common for ENFJs then? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I also have a bias in my data set of uh, mm. a lot of NF women in their 50s in helping professions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my, my profession has been more creative than helping, at least thus far. Mm. So. Yeah, I don't know. So I, I would say, based upon what I, I do know, I would say that the creative is first, and then that the uh, we'll say harmonizing is second, hmm. and um, and then the other two don't really show up. I mean, certainly the front bias and so on is not there. Even in reading Victor's descriptions, harmonizing was my second choice in far, as far as what I related to. So, okay. Um. Дарья говорит, что э, ну, можно использовать...